So this video is based on a question someone had about the mercury in tuna fish. There are certain types of tuna that are good and certain types that are not so good because they contain three times as much mercury. Now, the problem with mercury is that it interferes with certain enzymes involving selenium. And certain fish have more selenium than others. And so the mercury that's in the environment, it's in the water that the fish are exposed to might not affect you too much if there's high amounts of selenium because selenium can counter this mercury. But you have to realize if there's too much mercury, it can lock up these selenium enzymes, rendering them inactive. And this can create a whole series of mercury toxic symptoms, okay? Like tremors, headaches, nausea, insomnia, weak muscles, twitches, mood swings, and there's a lot of other symptoms as well. And so if you want tuna that's lower in mercury, skipjack is a good source and canned light tuna. Now a better option would be to do the canned salmon, sockeye or the pink Alaskan salmon, or even wild caught sardines. But you want to avoid the tuna that is higher in mercury and that would be the albacore or the canned white tuna. Avoid that. And then avoid ahi tuna, which is yellowfin and big eye because you're going to get three times as much mercury. Now, if your child is consuming tuna, you want to really bring down the frequency because really it's dose dependent. So I would recommend that your child um, consumes tuna maybe once a month. Now, there are certain cultures that consume dolphin or whale. Uh, you have to realize you're getting 20 times as much mercury as even the tuna in the higher uh, category. All right, so this was your short video regarding the mercury in tuna. Hey, before you go, if you're benefiting from any of my content, I would love to hear about your success story. Please share it in the link down below.